What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and today we have another very special episode coming to you via DraftKings. Now, this is a play that happened only a few days ago. We have the Buffalo Baby Blue Jays hosting the Orioles. They're in extra innings, and this was a spectacular defensive play by Jose Iglesias. Now, a lot of things kind of set this up. I want—I kind of want to break the entire play down with you. Um, Rowdy Tellez comes up here. He's pinch hitting. Uh, you can see the score is 4-3 to three, uh, with Lords Guerrero Jr. on first base. So he's got a little bit of speed. Now, because you have this big bad boy lefty up in Rowdy, you're in the shift a little bit. So what that means is Ruiz, the second baseman, he's going to be in kind of shallow right field. Uh, Iglesias will be over the bag, maybe up the middle, maybe a step or two towards second base. And the third base will be essentially playing shortstop. So that's kind of the setup you have here. Obviously, Holiday, who's playing first base, will be holding the runner on. Um, so that's the shift you have on here. I had to set it up because they don't really show it on the clip. But as we go through, uh, we'll see. So again, Orioles up four to three, two outs, trying to protect the lead in Buffalo. And let's kind of take it straight to the at-bat. But before we do, here's the ad read. With football right around the corner, there's no better place to get in on all of the action than with DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook app. To celebrate the return of football, DraftKings is giving all users a no-brainer to start the season. Listen up, because you do not want to miss this. Have you ever heard of a football team losing by 100 points? Well, for week one, DraftKings is ensuring that even if Kansas City were to lose in historic fashion, you would still cash your bet. That's right. DraftKings Sportsbook has moved the spread to Kansas City plus 101 points for all users. So even if Kansas City loses by 100 points, you still win big with DraftKings Sportsbook. That's a no-brainer. On top of that amazing offer, DraftKings is giving away up to $100 million in prizes to all users who enter their free football survivor pool. All you have to do is sign up for DraftKings Sportsbook, enter their survivor pool, and you'll instantly get a share of up to $100 million in giveaways. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JOMBOY to take advantage of this no-brainer of an offer. That's promo code JOMBOY, J-O-M-B-O-Y, to get in on all of the action for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey only. Other terms and conditions and restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, everybody, we're back. We're going to start the bat up right now. Again, this is Rowdy Telez, one of Jake's favorite guys, one of my guys. Um, big bad boy hitter up. Coming up, trying to win the game for the Blue Jays in the bottom of the 11th with two outs. So let's start this bat up. And we'll kind of go through it here. It's not a long at bat, so we'll just kind of talk through the play as we're going through it. So Rowdy steps up. Again, we're in the shift, okay? Uh, he pulls the ball a lot. We're trying to get him out. So first pitch, it's exactly why you're in the shift. This guy likes to go that way, and you want to prevent him as much as possible from getting on base and getting the, uh, the tying run in scoring position. So I didn't think they showed the defensive alignment. They kind of do right Okay, so if you can see my cursor, there is Iglesias, there's Ruiz, there's Holiday. Third baseman is right off screen right here. So just so you know, that's where they're playing, okay? And because of this, this is what sets up the whole play. So let's keep going. Rowdy's up there mashing. They're in Buffalo. Ball's sort of flying. The Jays are doing well. Orioles are a surprise team too. And now he's down 0-2. Again, trying to pull the ball. That's why they're in the shift. His spray chart says this is where he hits the ball. So he's battling now. He's like, man, just pinch hit. Let me get loose a little bit right here. There's Holiday. There's, okay, there's a shot of the third baseman. He's right there behind Budzinski. And I think this is the action pitch. And okay, so now this sets it up. He hits the ball down there, and then we're going to stop this right here. There's Ruiz, okay? Typically on a ball down the line like this, Ruiz would be the first cut and the double cut to home. Now, the double cut means you have two guys out there because the ball is far enough um, in the outfield towards the wall. You need two guys there. 
So typically where we is would be uh, right at the grass, the, f the first part of the grass uh, on the first base line. And then Holiday, the first baseman, would be setting it behind him. But because we're in the shift, Ruiz almost like went for this ball a little bit. So now if you can imagine, Holiday is at the bag and there's this long gap of nothing that Santander is going to field this ball and throw into. And that's where you have to remember Jose Iglesias. Okay, He's essentially playing around second base now. I think he kind of messes up and forgets he needs to be over in this situation and you'll see what happens. So remember, there's a huge void. Santander throws the ball in. Nobody's home. But then Iglesias comes out of nowhere, throws home. And what do you think happens? See you later. Game over. Let's show that again. Watch Iglesias come out of nowhere. He's there. He's there. He realizes, oh, man, I got to get over. And then boom, from there, he's got such good hands. Like this guy's incredible. Um, he learned under Omar Vizquel. Uh, has always had these hands. This is what he does. But to to be able to run, be running full speed right there, short hop that ball, plant, and then fire this strike home. I mean, that's an incredible play to end the game. We're going to see some replays here. But this is baseball instinct coming out. This is what I love. He realizes, A, he's not in the right spot, or Ruiz shouldn't be out where he's at. But either way, Iglesias realizes there's a gap there. And I, that he needs to get there. Essentially, this is, people are saying, eh, it's like Jeter. I don't know if it's like Jeter because I think Iglesias was supposed to be there. But here Santander's throwing the ball and he does exactly what he's supposed to do. But there's, no, there's nobody there, nobody home. And then Iglesias comes, hammers the throw right to home and the game is over. Baseball instincts coming up. I thought it'd be cool to highlight that play and just show, you know, you work on this all the time. Cuts, relays, this and that. And it's boring, but it ends up winning you a baseball game at the major league level. Game over. Orioles win. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, we'll be back next week with an amazing guest. Um, hope you guys have a good weekend.